Hello everyone, today I'm here to do another Owl Crate unboxing. So, um, last month I told you guys um, Owl Crate sent me a box to review it, and they also asked me again for to do the April box. So, I will leave the link right here and down below to last month's Owl Crate unboxing. <laughs> and second of all, I just want to apologize, my son's walking around in his walker, so you're probably going to hear some noises. But naps starting to happen today, so I'm just going to have to um, roll with it. <laughs> so if you're unfamiliar with Alcray, Alcray is strictly a YA book box. Book boxes are exploding. I've said before, there's Uppercase, there's Book Riot, there's Alcray, and now there's one called Lit Cube. So I've also done that one. And just to let you know, um, Alcray is made and shipped from Vancouver, Canada. The box costs thirty dollars, and that includes shipping. Um, I think there is a little bit extra if it's like really international, like over waters and stuff like that. This month, like I said, is all the feels. That's the um, theme. So I'm gonna guess a lot of romance stuff. Each box ships the twentieth of the month, and I will say this got here in two days, which I'm surprised because it came all the way from Canada, and I like live in the south of the U.S. So yeah. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. I will leave the links down below to their site, to their Instagram, all that stuff. They are such an awesome company, and I will say, out of all the boxes that were used so far, Alcrate is my favorite, and we'll still see if it's my favorite after unboxing this one. One thing I really like about Alcrate is that it's really unique. It's got, like, Al on it, and it's got the social media stuff on it, and all that stuff, so yeah. Throw the box up, which most of that straight up. It's got the guide to unbox, and like I said, it's gross. So, first thing is this little thing. It's going to tell you what everyone has. It, but I'm not gonna go with it. Oh my goodness! I've been really wanting one of these a lot. Like it's insane. It's one of the like book candles thing. I think it's from an Etsy shop. Okay, yeah, it's a soy candle created from from the page, which um, scents include Adobe socks, which I have that one. Hazel's flowers. Which I'm guessing it's from Fault in Our Stars. The Giving Tree and As You Wish. Can you guess the references? So yeah, this is a soy candle. I've heard soy candles burn a lot slower and they're healthier for the environment. Let's see what this smells like. Hopefully it doesn't smell bad because it's Debbie socks. You know? <laughs> it smells okay. It smells very florally almost. I'm not a huge <laughs> I'm not a, sorry. I'm not a huge fan of florally scents, but I will burn this or save it just because it's Dobie socks. Like, oh, I've been wanting one of these so bad. I'm so excited I got that. The next thing comes in this little teal box and it has this ribbon all around it. So let's open it up. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a necklace from Forever Always Designs, which I'm going to guess is from Etsy as well. And it's a necklace and it says, okay, okay, which is really famous quote from um, the Fault in Our Stars. Hopefully you can see it. It's black background with blue okay then uh, white okay and it has even stuff in it like it says the world is not a wish granting factory and my thoughts are stars i cannot fathom them into constellations and with this if you get this box you get 15 percent off with the code so that's re i really like that i don't know if i'll wear it because i don't wear necklaces a lot now but i really really enjoy it next thing i see is, is a oh a bag and it says omg okay what even? I ship it. Ah, the feels. I can't even. The OTP. What is air? <laughs> I love it. It's all the feels. Like, I love it. I love the I ship it, and I love the the OTP. <laughs> it's really adorable. I love tote bags, and I will be using this one because I think it's so adorable. Who is this from? This is from using a bookworm or bookworm boutique. They create cotton tote bags, and yeah, I really, really like this. I think this is super adorable. Okay, and the last thing in here is the book, and the book this month is Everything That Makes You by Amora McStay, which I've never heard of. Also, I should mention that every book that comes in here, they partner or they contact the author to try to um, get some stuff in here for you. Like last month was the book you got was A Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab, and you got a button, like a pin, and you got a poster. So this one, you're getting this book the thing in a second you're also getting a bookmark with it a it looks like an autograph um sticker with an autograph on it and a, another sticker so this is what makes you read the back of or the synopsis of the book girl two stories meet fiona doyle the sick rages of scar tissue on her face from an accident from 12 years ago fiona has dope books of lyrics about her frustration her dreams and her crush on uber jock trent mckinnon but she can't even find the courage to look straight to look <laughs> <laughs> I gotta read to look um, 
Trent straight in the eye, she shares a brain enough to see her songs at the open mic night. Yet something is changing in Fiona, and she can't be defined by her scars anymore. Meet Fee Doyle. Fee is operated a school lacrosse player in the state, heading to Northwestern on a full ride. She's got more important things to do with deal with her best friend, Trent McKenna, who wants her more ever since the kiss. But when an unlucky move on the field screws everything up, she loses the thing she's best at. Can Fee fight back? Everything that makes you follow the same girl and two stories. Moving between them feels like a game or a great song. Exciting, unpredictable, and compelling. And her, this is a debut novel. So, I'm guessing it's the same girl. And, you know, I guess in one story, she's um, an outcast, all that kind of stuff like this. The other story, she's popular and has the guy she wants or the guy, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, very, very interesting. So, let's count the items we got. So, we got the book. That's one. And I'm going to count with all the swags. One thing, two. And then you got a soy candle. That's three. Then you got a necklace. That's four. And then you got that tote bag. That's five things. So, once again, Alec Great did it. I love every single thing in this, honestly. Just like last month, I did with that as well. And it still remains my favorite. I'm just going to say it. I know that's... I don't know if it's the right thing to say, but I really love the tote bag. The tote bag is awesome, and I really love this candle, and I love this necklace. So, And the book's awesome, too. I mean, it's a freaking hardback book, and this is $18, so you're really, like, paying for shipping and then maybe, like, two extra dollars for other things. So I really do think this box is worth it. And you buy it. So I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave all the links down below for you to check them out, which I surely hope you do. And I'm going to go burn derby socks right now. That sounds funny, doesn't it? But I'm going to do it. Anyway, thank you for dealing with me and my craziness in this video with my son moving around and making all these noises. I apologize for that. It happened every time. It was just a one-time thing. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And, and that's so adorable. And it goes with these little shorts right here. How cute is that? That'll be so perfect for um, Father's Day. I love that.